Disclaimer. The information and education material contained herein is meant to promote the general understanding Disclaimer. The information and education material contained herein is meant to promote the general understanding and dialogue of GANS processing. Such information is not meant or intended to serve as a substitute for a healthcare professional's clinical training, experience, or judgment. For patients and individuals, such information is not to be a substitute for professional medical, therapeutic, or healthcare advice or counseling. For medical issues or concerns, including decisions about medications and other treatments, readers, viewers, listeners should always consult their physician or, in serious cases, seek immediate assistance from emergency personnel. Prescription information, procedures, and use of medical devices information should be undertaken only by properly trained and certified medical personnel. We specifically disclaim any warranties, express or implied, including implied warranties of merchantability or fitness for a particular purpose. Such information is provided, as is, and is believed to be accurate at the time of its publishing, but it is the viewer's job to evaluate the accuracy of any information found in this presentation. Every case presented is of their own experience, applied by themselves for themselves and it applies to their case only. Every person experiencing health problems should seek professional medical advice and consult their course of treatment with a doctor. The processes of plasma balancing described herein, are a natural process which supports the body but does not replace medical advice or therapies one is already subject to.
Welcome everyone and hello and welcome to our 91st public meeting for testimonials here on Monday, June 10th, 2024. This is a broadcast of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute Education Department and part of the public teachings in English. My name is Rick Crammond and I'll be hosts once again in this monthly series of workshops every second uh, Monday of the month and this June 10th happens to be the second Monday so here we are once again. Um, uh, our background image today is uh, courtesy of Gianni who we see uh, outfitted he looks a bit like the uh, I think like the ancient spaceman perhaps that uh, th uh, we see in uh, some of the uh, um, ancient uh, engravings and whatnot. Uh, he's uh, say, who, who is that mass man? <laughs> yeah, it's you know when you think about it, uh, maybe a uh, spaceman. Maybe it wasn't um, a space outfit. Maybe it was a beekeeping outfit that they were showing <laughs> back in the old days. But on the other hand. Maybe this would work in uh, space as well. Who knows? But in any case, uh, Johnny has been very active with beekeeping. And uh, it's, it's done some very interesting work using uh, the ganses and uh, feeding the bees with uh, gans water and uh, so on and so forth. Quite a... a Quite an amazing uh, work that he's doing. So we'll have a look at that a bit later. I'm hoping Gianni might show up uh, here and be able to uh, speak to us about that. But we do have some videos and pictures uh, lined up as well if he is not able to be here. And we have some other things, of course, to also go through. And um, so first I'd like to just offer if anyone has something they would like to present in the early part of our meeting here if you have uh, some sort of testimonial that you would like to uh, let us know about this would be a good time I know Mark you have a couple of things but uh, if there's anyone else Stefania do you have anything from the Italian sector I think we've gone through the others as not having something for uh, today. No, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, hello, thank you. Uh, I remember that now, uh, uh, talk about the Gianni work, but I remember that when they start the pandemic time in 2020, I uh, one knowledge because a biologist, biologist, uh, I talk. Uh, she started uh, the project. They used um, hiding bees in the in apartments in the small parents uh, or in uh, not only in in the lands in in the city. And I talk with her about the construct the um, COP one uh, director the COP one near to the. Um, near to the uh, hide and be because I tend to prepare a more more stronger uh, like uh, because uh, when they uh, give a, a talk uh, collected attracted you see the reactor to the guns collected attracted around it and she all the time uh, give uh, to the bees too and she used um, uh, after she she used uh, plasma water for spray it uh, the bees and give the bees and she say mostly the time need humus for for uh, for work with the with the bees because it's, uh, the bees bite the people 
and use uh, you see at the picture use big dress and cover all thing and she she not need it and she talked to me maybe one or more weeks uh, is it, is closing at that time but she talked to me and a big uh, fabric the uh, the candies big fabric and Colombian the candies uh, call her and talk with her because half a many many people uh, worked with the bees for uh, have a big uh, big bite very very big uh, the hidden bee uh, but not nothing uh, solution because it's like a violent bees and she go she talked to me she go she sprayed the same word the the you only one bee in the apartment she spray it and she not not need anymore and give plus more water for that bit and she work it and uh, that, that that people and that family is, is oh my god they surprise it oh because they have many many people in come uh, for intended but it's not possible because uh, the business is uh, i don't know what is the correct uh, Correct word, but it's like a violence with the, the people uh, go. And talk to me, sorry, I, I can work more uh, and no more, uh, put more reactors or whatever, because I had in that moment call around the, the country for the for the instruction, for the go to the hidden bees, for help. It's, it's a lot of work at the moment. I talked to her. Uh, I talked to her, of course. All bees talked uh, uh, between the other and the other, the other talk, okay, with you. And she is smiling because it's, 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 it's like a joke. But that's beautiful work in the moment. And she, I, I, I don't know, she no more work in the plasma technology because it's a lot of work for her in that moment. But this is is very nice. And the, the first and the first uh, plasma water she produced near to near to the in in that uh, first side uh, she gave me. And of the tie I put when the when the construction new for a track new clock one I put in near because it is I think it is very strong. Very strong product for the, for that beat. That that's beautiful. I remember that they see the the word for the journey. Thank you. Yes, uh, that was a, a video of some of Johnny's work, and uh, there's yes. other there's <laughs> other pictures of him without the outfit on, working with the bees as well. So he's. Uh, uh, learn to get along with the bees and how to be gentle around them. So you see, the he they were not attacking him or, or harassing him or even trying to bite or anything. So he's yes, learned yes. how uh, the way of the bee. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, but but most most better this is the first time she, she intend and make it you cup, you cup one. And but she, I, I talk, I I talk uh, with her. It's possible, and she go immediately, and that's very work for her. She is happy for that. Yeah. And I have one other friend, and in the other state in Colombia, and actually him talk uh, is working with the bees all the time. And use it all the time plasma, plasma water. And offer uh, him talk to me suffer with the like uh, that honey is uh, of course is uh, some, I don't know what is the term is uh, is is natural more natural I don't forget the, what that is the word or organic mean organic oh, yeah, yes like organic yes yes mm -hmm. yes yes. Is him a lot of work? Is him a practice? Oh my God, 
maybe seven or more years in the plasma technology, but mostly the time now is in the new land and working with the plasma technology more. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for that uh, testimonial. It's nice to hear people working with the bees. Um, it's pretty important work, actually, when you think about it. The, the efforts the bees make in pollination is what keeps many crops going. And there's stress on the bee population due to the use of pesticides and herbicides and other sides. And um, it's depleting the populations. Uh, in Canada, we have to bring in queen bees from outside the country because there's not enough of them here to, to um, satisfy the beekeepers. So it's very strange to have to import yeah, yeah. queen bees, you know, from the U.S. to, uh, to be able to propagate the bee populations here. Um, yes, I think it's, it's better because uh, the working, uh, the bees working in around the world and go to one flower and go to the other side and the other side and the other side. When they use you plasma technology, uh, the bees give to the other, to the other, to the other side, other land, other land, different regions, and it's, it's better. Mm -hmm. I think it's better, yeah. For, the, for that reason, I ask, I talk with my friend because I think it's, uh, it's only, not, uh, not only for the special honey, I think it's because uh, the bees is give the information to the other flower, to the mm. other plant, to the other different, yeah, that's beautiful. Sure, good wow. point. Definitely a yeah, communication yeah. thing there, plasmatic communication, yes. basically. Yeah? Yes. I talked to her, oh, okay, all bees communicate, do you work? And for that reason, call you a different, a different size, she smiled, yes. I like this, yeah. That's beautiful, beautiful picture. No, like this is field. this is some of the fields that um, Johnny is. Uh, they set up the bees close to the fields so that they're able to help with the uh, um, the pollination of the plants and so on and uh, and. Uh, so it becomes a, an important part of the whole structure. If you're using Ganses on the fields or using the plasma technology in other ways, then also with the bees, it's like uh, it's working both ends in a way of uh, helping with the, the plasma technology helps in uh, both areas. Yes, Gianni has showed us some amazing pictures with the bees. I recall the one where he's cutting a nest out of a tree. I think they put a ladder up there to get it, but he was only in short pants and no shirt. <laughs> yes. Do you, do you recall that? Rick? Yes, exactly. I don't think I have that one on hand, but uh, I remember that and being so amazed that here he is. I mean... Look at the concentration of bees here. It's it is quite amazing. They're see there's some bare fingers with the bees, right? Mm -hmm. They're too busy to of course uh, he... go ahead. Go ahead. No, he did a lot of spraying with the zinc and the CO two, and I'm not sure what else, but he did have a formula there to create a balance and then he would spray himself almost as if to balance himself in with the bees and then he proceeded to work with them here i see he's wearing a a full uh protection suit but uh, in the other video in another location he really uh was uh interacting with these bees in so many ways in a beautiful way that they weren't swarming and they weren't attacking him. It's just amazing. 
I think he could probably do it without the suit. It's just that if you make a mistake and hurt yeah. a bee or or just Step knock on the, no, yeah. knock on the nest with a tool falls down, hits the nest or something, then he might get swarmed. So it's a delicate kind of uh, vibe that's happening. Uh, a gentle um, give and take and uh, don't disturb the bees is the key thing but yet he taps on the uh, on the uh, comb in the bee comb in order to get the bees off so he can put it in the other container to take the uh, honey out of it later so they can take a certain knocking and uh, but not others it seems and you would have to be careful know what you're doing obviously yeah i cut the lawn on uh, a couple days ago and this year i have a lot of clover in the lawn and it was like a playground for the bees i mean they were just i didn't cut them all down because some of them were shorter but uh, you see these uh, little clover flowers and there were hundreds if not thousands of them and so it was like a in a way i felt bad i was like destroying their playground in so many ways. yes it's true and, <laughs> and there's a go ahead no no i had found a couple of dead bees and i know my neighbor had put up those little uh, flags and apparently someone had worked on their lawn but that was unusual for me to see a few in a very short time of dead uh, bumblebees actually uh, what, what do you mean flags? Well, when they put the pesticides down, they have oh. to put a, a small flag at the edge oh, of the property, yeah. alerting the neighbor, you know, that uh, that just been sprayed. And there's probably carryover as well. Oh, onto certainly. The other yes. And so uh, I had noticed their flags were up. And probably the bees are rather sensitive to a small amount of toxins because the population seems to have at least it's been purported to have uh, been decimated a number of times and i know gianni said the disease was reduced and, and the uh, using the plasma water reduced the disease and, and improved the production of of honey yes yes that's uh, definitely some of the side effects of uh, the plasma technology for beekeeping happy bees Right, and less of that, uh, whatever they use in there to keep the disease down, whatever the bee mites or other things, and that mm -hmm. would probably contaminate the honey in so many ways. There seems to be a lot of carryover in this agricultural. Uh, sorry, Enrique, I sent little part, little video when the the uh, my friend give when they start. Uh, she use uh, the plasma technology in that. When they talk with you, you, uh, you see the bees is, is freely in that moment, is in, in, inside the apartment. So I don't know. I, I, I give you now the, that address in the, on the drive. Yeah, it's not I, allowing I, me access to drive. Can you put the, can you put the, um, the video directly into telegram oh yes yes oh, give me ah uh, no not i i don't know because i don't know take it out of drive uh, and put it in see Can oh, you I, oh, oh she are here in that moment i have it mm -hmm. I think she just left, Rick. Something happened when she tried to share, share the Google Drive. 
and I, that's why I don't use Google Drive. It's too intrusive for me. It won't even let me access Google Drive from one of my Google accounts for some reason. It's banned me for years, Here's so I don't deal with them. Here she. Maybe she'll try again. Lisbeth, we lost you for a minute. You're back. Sorry, I talk to you, but I, <laughs> you don't see to me. I'm sorry. Okay, With one moment. I, I find for share. Okay, find for share. What is for share to me? Oh my goodness. Probably have to have the video ready, ready to play and then select it. Okay, maybe a day. Okay. Yes. Oh my goodness, where is it here? You talk to me, see or not see? Uh, not yet, no. Not yet, right. Oh my God. Mm. What is the correct? I put the the share with the uh, with the screen and not, nothing. Uh, Rick okay. said you have to uh, bring the video first up on your screen and then hit the share. I think that's I, correct. I gave you the yeah. address only, but the, I don't. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I have the video in the in the screen. But I'm not sure because it said okay. It, uh, what is the but the no appear the the drive for sure, or maybe that took the video a moment away. The medium video no. You won't be able to know. share your drive. You you will have to um, share the video, not the drive. So you have to activate yes, I, the video I, I, first. I, the video is open in that mm -hmm. moment. Okay. I am trying the, the screen, but it's not, not possible. Most of um, it's shared for the other apps and nothing. I don't see permit. Uh, yeah. Ah, can, okay, well, maybe. If you can download the video and send it to me in Telegram, I could share it that way. Okay, maybe in my, in my PC, one moment. I go to my PC. Because it's, in, it's, just little, it's very little. It's only for C, uh, the piece in the, in the apartment is, is free. It's free. It's, it's better for that. Yeah, it'd be nice she to see. She did more, more videos, but I don't, don't, don't try now, so. That is because I have in the drive, but maybe to the other people give uh, the testimony first and and give you more later, so in case. Okay, you want to work on that, you mean? Now I come to the, my PC, but it's open. Maybe I give you Mark the 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 address. Maybe you can share. I don't know. One moment. Yeah, he might be able to open it. Well, I'm on the iPad, so that is not. Ah, the, it's the mm. same. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry because uh, I, I not prepare that because uh, it's, it's it's because I remember it that. Okay. Well, sorry you can. You can download the video from your Google Drive and then uh, send yes. it to me. Yes, and the moment is like like this. Okay, you want to work with that in the background? We'll do something else for a bit. Yes, I work it now in that and send to you. Okay, good.
Alrighty, well, let me see here. Maybe it's time for a, a filler, Mark. <laughs> okay, how about the one uh, with the knee there? And uh, you see the two little lines on it? Oh, uh, yeah, snake bite. The, the cat scratched me, actually. <laughs> All right, same thing. Just about as venomous. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, but anyway, uh, normally... Uh, you can see, I should have probably taken it last week. Um, it was more pronounced, but the cat will come and uh, sit on the lap, but it starts to do this kneading thing where they use their paws and they want to scratch something, even though I have a scratching pole and everything. And uh, so apparently the cat did that, or as it was jumping off, I think maybe the hind legs, but the... Um, Again, not a big wound or anything like that, but it wasn't, uh, I wasn't recovering. They were staying red for too long. So a few days ago, I just took a, a small uh, piece of cloth and uh, put some CUO copper cup on it and a piece of tape, put it on there for 12 hours. And it appears that the, um, the healing process is continuing. I, you know, you always hear about the cat scratch fever and things like that. One of the things I do like cats, but they also can cause um, health problems. Uh, and, and what Rick was saying about being toxic, they, they completely lick themselves all the time. So whatever pathogens or bacteria is in that saliva seems to be transferred to the entire body of the cat as well as their claws and everything else. Even though the, so I had a concern. So I just put the uh, CUO patch on it for about 12 hours overnight and took it off. Just used some scotch tape and a few drops of the CUO and uh, it's uh, lightening and uh, recovering. I just thought I'd uh, show that. So again, just mm -hmm. a simple testimonial about something we can do for ourselves. I didn't grab any hand that, at first, I mean, for the first week or something um, I didn't do anything because normally I just recover but this one seemed to last a little longer mm -hmm. so I thought or my soul reminded me maybe you need to sort of uh, detoxify that area or clean that mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. with an antibiotic and so that's what I did and continuing on very mm -hmm. simple for cuts and scratches and things like that at least to um, as an antibiotic because we know that copper cup, as Mr. Kesh said, uh, it's 50 times more powerful than any antibiotic on the market, if I could say that. I'm just repeating what Mr. Kesh had said at one location at one point. But again, you can make it for yourself. You don't need baxitration or the rest of these little ointments that we usually just keep on the shelves most of the time until they go bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. I think... Um using a essentially that's what they call a poultice in the old days and they used to use uh, epsom salts or other uh, herbs and so on that were um, in, infused into the cloth of this poultice and you would uh, attach it to your body and uh, it will tend to draw out the toxins and poisons and uh, mm. infection and that kind of thing so mm -hmm. the, definitely the body responds to poultices and if you can use like you say the the GANs as a, a part of that then it's extra boosted hundreds of times more powerful than just a simple poultice no doubt so right and again I didn't use the GANs I use the GANS water, and mm -hmm. I've always had a trouble hearing that when I first uh, became associated with the foundation. They were talking plasma water, GANS water, GANS. I wasn't sure. So we're basically using the water above the GANS. Once the GANS settles, uh, then we use that water in mm -hmm. our projects. Just a clarification for people who are trying to sort these things out. Yeah, you're not supposed to touch the body with the GANS material is the idea. But, um, you know, even in the GANS water, you're going to have some micro 
particles of GANs and so on. So, and it's not as if it's going to harm you necessarily. They've done tests with lab rats and so on, especially with the zinc and um, CO2 GANs, <coughs> that they're relatively harmless. <coughs> the uh, the copper is to be res respected, though. It's like any antibiotic or other um, medicine that way. The, the copper GANs is definitely more potent and has its, uh, probably has some limit as to uh, putting it actually on the body. It might be harmful at some point. So as a general rule, keep the GANs off the body and use the GANs water like Mark said, which is the water above the GANs once they've settled to the bottom quite well. And I think we'll hear that in one of the testimonials from the Brazilian team where the lady gave the formula of so much zinc and so much uh, CO2 and then so much CUO. I think it was like six, four, and two milliliters and someone was drinking it for some reason. And apparently it worked for whatever condition. So again, these are all what has been um, observed by the people using it. We're not saying it's uh, it applies to everyone, but we're just giving anecdotal sort of testimonies here. And certainly people have used the Ganses in the past for uh, um, dealing with uh, various uh, afflictions, especially the big affliction of several years ago, and have had outstandingly great results. and. and Actually, many thousands of people have re reported being uh, being <coughs> being um, what is the word in uh, balance? Being brought into balance, yeah, <laughs> I guess something like that <laughs> through something the like uh, that. through the plasma technology, and it's quite amazing. So if you want to go to the um, the uh, picture I shared with you with the um, gel pack or uh, the for the foot, I think there's a couple pictures there showing the front and the back of it. Okay. Although the colors, did, for some reason, the camera didn't. Uh, but this was a gift um, that was uh, received in Sanya by everyone who attended the conference. This is actually, um, and maybe you'll find it in the store, Rick, is the uh, Cash Gans Foot Gel Pack. And it's on a piece of Velcro in so many ways. Is and this, this the is other the, side of it? or Yes, this is the oh, okay. actual other side of it. You can wrap it around uh, your ankle or your foot. And actually, I've used it in a number of uh, different locations on my uh, forearm and on my hand and you're you're probably saying well <laughs> usually I don't have very many ailments but if you bring up that picture Rick um, with the leaves and everything um, I decided uh, there's a tree in the background you can hardly see it but uh, I took a I took a, a lopper, what they call the lopper, which is just a cutter, and by hand, even though I had a power tool with me, I, um, like a, a power hedge trimmer, I decided to do it by hand, and uh, as you can see how thick this brush is, I was trying to get to the, the tree back there because these vines have a way of tangling everything and almost encompassing the physicality the way the soul when it expands encompasses the physicality and the tree that's behind it um, in a way I felt it calling to me and saying that it needed help and I put it off and I put it off and I put it off so well, one couple Saturdays ago I decided to clear part of that area at least to allow me to get into it because you cannot walk through this this is just so thick and so tangly. It catches your feet. It catches your arms. And uh, you, it's almost like quicksand. 
unless maybe, of course, if you were Bigfoot, you could probably walk through it. But anyway, I had to sort of clear an area to get to this tree so I could cut the vines that were growing and sort of uh, stifling its growth. I know we know the plants don't kill, but they certainly can lean on other structures, so to speak. So after I did this work for a couple hours or whatever it took me, it was a little early in the morning, so I didn't want to run any power equipment. The neighbors were probably sleeping and the rest of that. So I just slowly uh, trimmed it back. And one of the things I did, because, you know, you think about killing these other things and creating those supernovas, was I just cut them close to the ground. In other words, there were very few that I actually pulled out or killed in this process. So all I did was uh, just trim them down. Um, it's almost like giving someone a very close haircut. You don't kill the person by cutting their hair normally. And, uh, and so that um, night, I started to notice that my foot and of course I did this work in sandals and socks because it was only about a four foot bank. It's probably about a 40 degree. Uh, and I didn't get hurt or notice anything, but um, when I came in the house, maybe I sat down for a while and I went to get back up, my foot on the left side uh, didn't, I, it's almost like when you put the weight on it, ouch. So I said, wow, I have this uh, foot pack so I wore this for a couple of days and it seemed to go away. It might have gone away on its own anyway, but I think this accelerated the process. And then, and this was all on the left side of my body. I don't know how that all happened. And then the left hand was hurting. So after this uh, sort of balanced out, I put it on the hand. It's a gel pack for the foot, but I assuming that it would work the same way that I put it on the forearm and so this, in a way, balanced it out. And interestingly enough, so this is all on the left side. And then the week before I did this trimming and everything, somehow I either was sitting at the computer too long in the wrong position, or I slept on my shoulder. So I just unfurled this uh, gel pack. And you can see the long one that Rick was showing there. And I just... And I had this very strange pain in my left shoulder, well, between the shoulder and the collarbone area, let's say, uh, like when you sleep on your shoulder or sleep in that area. So I just unfurled this and I put it around there for maybe two or three days. Again, um, not using it a long time. I think the instructions say 30 minutes, but um, I use that to basically balance out the shoulder. Now, I do remember coming back from the plane trip on the last plane trip and my ankles were swollen, and probably from some sort of flying or whatever causes that. Um, so I used this uh, for that, but it didn't seem to make much difference over the course. And I wore it for a couple of days and it didn't seem to make any difference in swelling. Of course, it's not designed for swelling. It's designed for pain. But I found multiple uses uh, for this uh, small gift that was given to us, uh, whoever attended the Sanya conference. And this is the small gel pack or, or the, uh, yeah, the foot gel pack. This is the small one. And apparently there's a medium and a, a large one as well. And if you go to the other picture of the GANs um, of this um, wrap that's laid out there, Rick, um, yeah. Now, if you look rather closely, you can peel off this gel pack. I just used it right out of the uh, package or out of the carrying bag. But what you can do with this is you can put it in the freezer for a couple of hours. It can enhance the effects. Or you can place it in the microwave, and there's some timing issues with that, maybe for five or ten seconds. Here's some instructions right that came with it so you can detach that little uh, gel pack wrap it in a towel put it in a microwave and it becomes warmer which may enhance the effect that wasn't a very good picture i guess i'm seeing a shadow on part of it 
but these are the instructions you can use. So I, I found it quite handy. And again, balancing out some very simple conditions more or less, but rather rapidly. And again, without any ointments or any soaking or anything like that, any massage. Uh, as I said, normally I recover quite quickly, but maybe I haven't been doing enough physical work. And it seemed that my foot, my hand and my forearm there uh, felt some stress from cutting all those uh, branches. Yeah, now Rick will find it in the store here. Um, I don't think that's the one. Probably go down and down. But a very uh, simple but yet effective. So you can uh, detach that. You have to be careful that when you put it in a microwave or you put it in the freezer, you want to make sure and test it that by putting it on your skin. If it comes out of the freezer environment, you can tolerate that or you may want to let it warm up. I've never used it that way and I didn't use it in the microwave either. Okay, I think we're getting closer perhaps. Ankle gel pack as well, I see. That's another one. Mm -hmm. There it is. I think that's it right there, Rick, on the right. Yeah. So again, a very uh, simple product offering from the cache. As it says here, it can be used hot or cold or at room temperature. Simply detach the uh, gel pack itself from the, um, what do they call that material that sticks? Uh, the ve Velcro. Velcro, right. You just detach it from the Velcro, warm it up or cool it down, and it enhances the effect. Very simple. Very effective. 60 euros is uh, reasonable, it seems, for that product. Mm -hmm. And I think it limits your use to approximately seven days. And another uh, point here is normally these products are for individual use only. As right. the plasmas in these products and the, oh, there it is right there. You may want to, this product is for personal use and is not intended to be shared with another person. And the reason for that is the GANs and the plasmas within these gel packs, and probably the pain pen and the rest of it, get used to the fields of one structure, of one entity that it's working with. So by me thinking I'm doing good by sharing it with you, I may be sharing some fields that your body doesn't need. And this is, or as I take it back and use it again myself, which seems to be a limiting factor. I mean, sharing is good, but in these cases, it gets the use to the fields of one body. And maybe it even enhances itself in so many ways by not sharing it. Even though I've heard stories where people had pain pens, they shared pain pens with the other people, it worked and so on. But to me, it could be absorbing fields um, that may not be in balance with your structure. Let's put it that way. So I think that's why the single use um, is recommended. So if you want to see if it works, you'd have to, in a way, uh, you know, if you're talking to somebody about it, they say, well, I'd like to try it, but it's probably not, it's not recommended you share the product at least at this point in the development. So the cat scratched me on the right thigh, but all the other small um, injuries or what, what you'd like to say were all on the left side. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> but it gave me an opportunity to uh, try it and use it and to see how it worked. And to me, uh, I would pass it. And it does say, it does have an FDA and a CE, which is the European certification. And it does have FDA on the bottom of the instructions. So it's probably approved by both. It emits plasma fields that 
penetrate below the skin, helping to bring the body back to its balance. You just need to wear the GANS gel pack, which generates its own magnetic gravitational plasma fields directed to the point of pain to relieve it. The fields will be in balance situation and so the body. You could cool or heat the pack to enhance its effect. And there's small ones, there's medium ones, or there are large ones. But I would say this is probably about 16 inches, so it'll fit around anyone's ankle or arm or, again, wherever you may need. Yeah, here's a much bigger, but the same, I'm sure the same principle applies. They're just tailored made to fit on certain parts of the body um, easily. It appears to be That's the same the price as well. 59 mm -hmm. euro for the bigger one. So even though it said it was for the foot, I thought I'd try it on the hand and I'd try it on the uh, forearm and it seemed to be effective. Again, these were not major things, probably just a small pull or a sprain, but especially the foot, I couldn't put weight on that foot. It was like, whoa, what happened? I didn't fall. I didn't twist my foot while I was working, but something got stressed in that process. And um, just tried to rebalance it or relieve the pain. And it worked. I can feel relief in my back pain just looking at this. <laughs> I think maybe I need one of those. But maybe I okay. just need the image to remind me that uh, my body is full of GANs and it can heal itself as well or, or fix its own pain in a way. But it's nice to have tools to uh, help guide us and uh, uh, it helps us to, when you use a pad like that, right. then you naturally put attention on that part of your body. and. That helps direct stem cells to that area and creates blood flow and uh, helps with the healing processes and so on, just from our own attention. Agree, but uh, what, what, if I broke my finger, I know my finger would repair itself maybe over the course of a month or two months or three months. But as Mr. Kesh said, with some of these systems, they're speeding up that entire process where someone with a broken wrist or a broken bone could actually uh, return to what they were doing in a matter of perhaps hours or less with a fully uh, balanced or repaired uh, bone. And these are some of the more advanced things. We haven't really seen that so much in the public domain yet, but it's uh, been purported it's there. I've seen some uh, recent uh, medical research on uh, growing um, um, like a ampu for amputees and others that have problems with their bones, they can regrow um, toes and and limbs, or they're trying to making making efforts to do so by using electric fields and creating a, a gradient. And Mr. Kesh has talked about that in <clears throat> some of the early work of. 10 or 15 years ago now and uh, basically you create that gradient and the the bone wants to continue growing so that is definitely a, a technology that can be utilized it's a uh, I think he said at that time it's a little difficult because you have to keep that uh, area um, so it's not healing itself. No, in other words, it's not a healing over. You need to keep it sort of fresh so that it's rebuilding itself in the environment rather than healing itself over. Normally, if you lose a finger, the hand will heal that area and the skin will close over and the bone stops growing and you know, it ends up as a, a little stump or whatever. 
Um, but if the body is going to continue growing that limb, it needs the liquid environment to um, at the tip to uh, to be able to keep the uh, bone and skin and so on growing in in one direction. So it can be a little uh, uh, difficult for people I, to and this do is, that. Uh, probably coming out of the knowledge of the COVID with the calcification. He said it had a lot to teach us, and they were going to do a deep dive into this um, calcification or decalcification, uh, and that's used in the bone or probably removing stones or cataracts or other things, but it might have been uh, handled internally with the research team, perhaps. Um, but he said this, uh, this understanding of the calcium uh, had a, a lot to teach us. Another interesting uh, gel pack here, the head and teeth gel pack. Another one I could use. Same price. <laughs> and hot or cold again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, the store will be expanding in a monumental way. I think it's been predicted thousands or tens of thousands of new products. And uh, some of these things will become mementos in a way. There are quite a few of these packs, these GANS packs. Here's a knee and elbow pack. Right, and we all, whether we're just doing light work as I was doing, or trying to you know play football or basketball or other sports on the weekend uh, you can if you get too aggressive in these uh, sort of play sports you can you can twist some ankles and other things so this is a beautiful solution for that if you know anyone who's a runner or other issues uh, with the joints and of course the more we use them the more they seem to wear down so these are very nice gifts for the sportsman i think as well yeah, good point. I was unfortunate enough to have my knee twisted for me by a fellow uh, touch football player who, <laughs> instead of touching, tackled me instead. <laughs> and it twisted my knee and has given me grief for most of my life, basically, in one way or another, but extreme pain for that year first year of uh, high school where I was hopping around on one leg trying to uh, navigate but uh, they didn't have much technology for fixing knees back then now they have a lot of uh, modern techniques in uh, the medical profession for dealing with such things but this would so be a, a good product for that just thought I'd share those uh, brief, uh, simple uh, testimonials in a way, but it does give you a sense of uh, empowerment as well, where you can handle certain things yourself, perhaps, rather than, uh, you know, going to the emergency room or do I need this checked out? And, and again, that's all up to you to do, but it does give you, this technology does give you a, a sense and a confirmation of... Um, do you know a little bit more than you think you know? And with the help of this uh, technology, it, it seems to work out in so many ways. Even as I said, using the uh, foot pad on my arm or my shoulder. Here's a product I haven't even seen before. This is new to me. Have you seen this? The migraine ice cap? I've heard of it, yep. I don't know how long it's been in the store. Oh, but I've I, never really I could have used it that yeah. this morning. I woke up with a severe headache that's still kind of in the background. I get migraines once in a while, but 
nowhere near as much as when I um, was still eating chocolate. Chocolate is uh, responsible for 20% of migraine headaches, apparently. And I was in that category, and boy, it's a, a relief to have quit chocolate. <laughs> So, um, migraine ice cap, yeah. So you cool it down and uh, put it on. Great idea. What other gems do we have here? Multifunctional pack. And at one time they had offered a bundle for, I think, like truckers who usually have to sit and drive for hours and hours at a time. And that can be, plus the stress of having a large vehicle amongst all these tiny little vehicles and uh, all the other issues with road sizes and height of bridges and the rest. Mm -hmm. But they had a, a beautiful pack put together. Maybe it was a Christmas pack or something like that. Uh, Again, for different release, uh, relief of the neck and the back and other things, the seat cushion, I think. This would be a good one for drivers, I think. The uh, multi-purpose pack here gets your, those muscles in the uh, back of the neck that tend to get tense from, from uh, driving. They should have a... Uh, race car pack for race car drivers Oops. oh here's a specific neck and shoulder pack well it looks pretty cool yeah definitely tailored uh, to the shape mm -hmm. huh interesting I don't recall seeing that one either, actually. And yet another neck and shoulder uh, relief. So it was like maybe four or five different uh, neck and shoulder products since probably several others that could be used in a pinch too, like you could even use you know, the one that you have there, Mark, and put it around your neck if you needed to. Or yeah, for sure. I had back. it up my shoulder. Yeah. But it does seem like these areas are uh, sources of uh, chronic uh, problems for people. And they can find relief. Again, non-invasive. No medicines, no chemicals are used. Here's restickable cold packs. You can stick them anywhere on your body or or um, whatever needs to be. Maybe stick them on your beard to cool your beard <laughs> if you're so inclined. I wonder if it would affect your beer if you did so. I have one question. Mm -hmm. Yes. You still there? Can't hear you, uh, Lizzie. Yeah, I can't hear her either. Her mic is open. Oh, yes. You don't listen to me? Now I hear you. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, thank you. I, I have one question, but I don't know who is answering me. I have ignorances, and, and Mr. K said, okay, not only for the knee. Uh, can you use for restore the hair or ace or uh, or not, nor, nor the head, or, or, or not possible use at the head? Anybody know about that? 
Is there any instructions that come with it? No, uh, Mr. K said, um, is this on, in the, Mr. K said the other day, it's not only for the knees. I think it's restored the knees, it's restored the muscles, and restored the all things in the body. I think, I think. Well, Mr. K said, not say that. But uh, I, I. I think it has a lot to do with the cartilage uh, or the. Uh, um, the support structure for the knee, as well as the okay. the muscles, but the I think it's uh, to help with that uh, the car what they call the cartilage. Yes, for all 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 I, I intend that I I understand it's for all the structure, uh, the, but I the, don't all know all the joints of the body probably would, it yes. would be good for because they I all have cartilage. But I don't know with the uh, part of the head or, or yes. Yeah, I'm not so no, I, sure about the head. Go I ahead, think Mark. you said to stay away from the back. I mean, you can use it on the ankles, the foot, the knees. I have the hips. I haven't done that. But the elbows, the wrist, the hand, the shoulder for the knee gans. But he said, mentioned something. Um, it was counterindicated for using it for any sort of back pain. Again, we'd have to rehear that again, but from my memory, yeah. Yes, uh, maybe I asked Mr. Case because I think it's better for all uh, the body, but I don't know because it's the pain, it has a um, Mm, oxide, uh, copper oxide is not better. Yeah, but he said know. keep that copper away from the head. Yeah. I, he yeah. mentioned that recently. Yeah. I need X, uh, yeah. Because I think it's better because uh, many people, uh, uh, it's not better you, you hear and you ace. Uh, maybe it's such a good solution, but... I guess first. I guess first. Thank you. I my, my old computer is down. In lost many 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 videos and information. Important so from the foundation. Oh. Okay, well, we've got your video. It's come through for me here, so let's play yeah, that. that. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it maybe not need sound. Most important thing is, uh, you okay. see, she used uh, the um, and construct inside the the apartment, but she intend to uh, put the uh, the um, at the top of the buildings in the city because. Yeah, many many uh, gardens is is in the city, and is is better for the uh, the bees use it too. The, these are yeah. inside bees, I take it. Yeah, see, so you see, it's is 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 free. The they're, bees is free. They're free to come and go through the window. Yeah, no problem. Well, wow, this is amazing. I thought it was all going to yeah, be out yes. on the deck or out on the patio of the house, yeah, not yeah. inside a room. So do they close off yeah. that one room so the bees don't go through the whole house? Yes, no problem. Do you see? Uh, my friend in, in, in living Cali, he worked with her and actually in turn... Uh, Take a project for putting many, many areas in uh, uh, at the city, but this is capital city, the state. Uh, put the uh, plant more, more, more flowers, and put many, many bees. Uh, many, I'm sorry, high bees at uh, the at uh, the buildings in the city. It's like this. You see, it's, it's free. And bees, it's free. Mm -hmm. and, and no one pinches your honey either this way. <laughs> yeah. It's got a built-in security system. 
<laughs> and you won't yeah. have burglars <laughs> jumping through your window, at least not twice. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but do you see? It's not violence, B. Not attacking right. nothing. Because he uses plasma, plasma work. These are domesticated bees, Rick. Yes. <laughs> they live inside the. Yeah. Very nice. First time I've seen that. I and I, it works. It, yeah, it's much better. And in that moment, she only started in making one cup in that moment. So, it, 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 but the bees is free. What am uh, now? Okay, maybe have more, more. I intend contact again her, but uh, what mm -hmm. and and talk more about that. Yeah, but Gianni, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, Gianni likes to put a cup on top here. Uh, well, the ones he was using had a, a hard top on them, and he'll yeah. put the water there. And he said they were consuming quite a bit of the water, more than normal. Yeah. Yes, I like it. Yeah, she it's spray it first and give and give little container near to for 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 the they use it for drink it, and that's it. I like that because is um, the bees is free. And it helps uh, pollinate the local trees and plants Definitely. and, uh, and, and uh, flowers yeah. and so on and makes it a nicer environment that way. Yeah. I think she, she intend to uh, put that project with my friend because it's two friends, no? Because uh, at the city, um, it, it maybe have bees, but... But I don't have a, a local for 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 you you correct work. I like that work because mostly the times is in the land, it's in the in the uh, in the farms. You put in your in your apartment, uh, Mark. It's easy. Sure. There you go. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> or maybe at the top. Outside at the top, yeah, like it would uh, seem you would have to, anything. Yeah, anything in a city like this to be out in the open. The kids would yes. throw rocks that I used to do, and my friends we used to throw rocks at the bees nests up in the tree, see if we could get them to swarm and run away as fast as we could. And uh, that, but anyone who would see this outside in a city would definitely yes. call the health department or animal services to have it removed. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. but at the balcony, maybe at the balcony, yeah, I the don't balcony know. It would be nice, perhaps, if you don't share a balcony yeah. with a neighbor. Yeah. It's a good uh, experiment. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. And you, you produce you, you better honey. You very energy honey. Exactly. I've substituted most of the sugars for honey in my drinks mm -hmm. or my cereal or whatever. I do consume quite a bit of honey, which is a can of honey. the bee. As I understand it, Rick, do you understand that the I have a friend that's a hands of the cow? I have a friend that's a bee who's been into beekeeping, not currently right now, but they still keep bees, and he calls it bee puke. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. essentially bee puke. It's it's uh, regurgitated. Um, what the bees regurgitate is. Uh, you know they th they partly digest and then regurgitate the uh, honey, and I think, to make the I honey. think I think with the, with you put um, the plasma waters around it and got it, and you put at the cities, maybe 
Yeah, I, I help the equilibrium of the city because move the different um, lands, uh, the other gardens or whatever around the city and give the information with the plasma. I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's better way for uh, for for uh, for clean the environment. I think it's possible. Maybe mm, it's like the best way to spread the plasma technology is through the bees mm -hmm. of the world. Think about it, yeah. eh? They they are yeah. much more mm -hmm. efficient at doing their work than. Uh, you know, if you were out and had to spray all the plants and flowers that they visit every day, you would be uh, out full time spraying all day long trying to keep up. But if you allow the bees to do the work, to to um, develop that network, that uh, GANS uh, plasma you know, energy network, wow, let the bees do the work. Let the bees do Sounds the like busy work. <laughs> Sounds like a sweet idea. It's the yeah, best yeah, thing yeah. for human human being beings. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Maybe that's how we all become real human beings is through the bees. Yeah. As Mr. Kesh says, you always go for the smaller, not the bigger. And maybe it's that subtle influence that can make a huge difference. And when the, the bees is, is relaxed, is calm, it's much better. More more people not take a reason for you kill it. No. Right. You might uh, like learn, that. you learn compassion through... Uh, Yes. To, uh, working with the bees and and respect for other life forms. Yeah. I think a lot of us have a fear of uh, bees. I know I do in general because I get stung by a big bumblebee in the center of my back when I was young, and uh, it left a big scar there actually. And they I don't remember. Have I also remember accidentally stepping on a hornet's nest out in the uh, out in the rural area that we were staying in at the time, and I got swarmed and stung about I think it was 22 times <laughs> all over my body, and uh, I was only about maybe 10 years old at the time, and it was pretty traumatic, and uh, I learned to respect <laughs> the. Uh, the stinging ones, but you know I, I'm not particularly scared of them now. I I enjoy bumblebees, and I'm I wouldn't really hold one in my hand like some people are known to do. But uh, I'm not afraid that they're out to get me. <laughs> many times the bumblebee doesn't have a stinger, as opposed oh. to what you would think in the bee family. Um, I've been stung a number of times by yellow jackets, mostly. But then I heard someone talking about the bumblebee, and I had always thought that, wow, look at the size of this one. He must have a huge stinger. And uh, then I found out that they don't have a stinger. They have pinchers, and they will pinch you, but I've grabbed many bumblebees, and make sure you're grabbing a bumblebee, and I've held it in my hand. I've gotten pinched, it doesn't break the skin, and then you just release them. But that was an amazing discovery for me about the bumblebee. <clears throat> Maybe we'll look that up in the reactor group. Well, I just see, do bumblebees sting here in the... Uh they have pinchers. internet it says bumblebees unlike honeybees are able to sting multiple times but they are much less likely to sting than hornets yellow jackets or honeybees hmm. that's what they say but i experimented it says uh, usually a bumblebee sting leads to a non-allergenic local reaction swelling itchiness and redness at the site of the sting may last for only a couple of hours 
further the reaction can occur directly after the sting but more generally it starts after a few hours I've taken many of them in my hands Rick and uh, they haven't stung me they've pinched me with their pinchers in the front but it wasn't a sting yeah, well, like they say, they do, it's maybe. hard to uh, hard to irritate them. They they're pretty mellow, it seems. But when they okay. do sting, it says it's a brief but intense pain that subsides over time. In about one percent of cases, individuals may experience an allergic reaction to the injected venom. That may have been what uh, happened to me as well, because it it lasted a long time and swelled up pretty good. But um, I'm not even sure it was a bumblebee. There were bumblebees in the area, I remember, when we were out in that area. It says the venom and wasp is typically more potent than the bumblebee. So 22 of them was definitely worse <laughs> for me than the uh, bumblebee, but... Yeah. So they mentioned our bumblebees aggressive. They're not as aggressive and not likely to sting as hornets or yellow jackets. It says males cannot sting. So maybe you were talking, maybe you were only yeah. playing with the males. Perhaps. <laughs> the females yeah, only, do, only do so <laughs> when they feel threatened. And then it says their stings, however, are painful and could lead could be dangerous to those with allergies. Okay, so the male bumblebee doesn't have a stinger, the female does. Okay. It says, is it safe to pick up a bumblebee? No. <laughs> Bumblebees do not like to be petted, but they will tolerate some contact. It says, I can pick them up off flowers by holding the flower in my hand and lifting it over the petals until the bee is actually standing on my hand. Most often they will pick up some of the pollen, dusting my fingers, and fly off. Thank you. So that's what our internet tends to say. This Here's a mark that responds in Quora. Says says, believe it or not, not only can you hold a bumblebee in your hand, you can feed it some honey. There you go. I was just going to say that. Have a drop of honey near you. They'll, they won't bite for anything. I never did that, but... And, but you see, he says, Mark says, you, but you better prepare yourself for the most intense tickling you have ever felt. As your fingers get licked clean, the tongue of the bumblebee will, will be licking into places you never knew were ticklish, under your fingernails. Wow. And they say they have the world's largest bumblebee here in Hawaii, the bombardier bombastic, the carpenter bee. Huh. Well, there you go. We got some information about uh, Thank you. bees here. And they do show us a lot of working together as a unit in so many mm. ways. Yeah. Definitely, they're, they just, uh, they're so dedicated to that uh, feeding, the getting the honey into the comb, and, uh, you know, that's their, their biggest uh, goal in life, and they all cooperate with each other, and they know where each other have been, and uh, where the best places to go for the, for the uh, pollen, and, geez, there's just... If you think of yourself as a bee and going about your beesness every day, busyness, and you are literally busy all the time, back and forth, and they don't have time to kind of sit around and just bask in the sun so much. They probably take rest, but uh, it's pretty much a full-time job when you sign up as a bee and you're reborn as a bee or whatever. And that's that's your life, and you're aware of the others and cooperate with the others, and 
Wow, it's an amazing process. To think that mankind has been doing this for thousands of years easily and probably since the very beginning, since we figured out I mean, there's people that, I saw a picture a couple of days ago of them harvesting honey in Tibet. And they are way up on the side of a mountain, hanging by ropes on the side of the mountain. And using a saw to saw off the chunks of, of the honeycomb that has been growing on the side of this mountain. And it's a huge maybe a, a, a meter, more than a meter round honeycomb that's naturally formed on the side of the mountain and they're up there with hacking away to uh, to get this honey and it's really special honey that grows up in the high altitude mountains and rare as well. But that's one of the uh, exotic jobs of the world. <coughs> And they're quite accommodating of each other. I don't haven't seen any videos of v bees within their own nest in a way, uh, arguing or fighting each other. They seem oh, to good just point. Yeah. take their position and uh, do their work. If like someone the, gets in the way, they just move around them, and it's like a, a very cohesive unit. The way the plasma works, right, in terms of uh, positioning, it finds its own position without having to argue and fight with its neighbors and uh, you just naturally, like magnets, they naturally find the uh, correct position. But bees are like magnets with a mind, they can uh, find their position and remember lots of positions. The bees can remember where they've been to get the best pollen and repeat going back there and so on. Oh, I found the picture with Gianni, the video with uh, Gianni up in the tr tree with the nest. Let's uh, have a look at that. He's a brave man. <laughs> Look at that nest, eh? and Johnny's up there with the shorts and t-shirt or no shirt on. Și plasmatizat, o să-l introducem pe cinci rame nano acoperite cu foiță. Totul a fost nano acoperit și plasmatizat. Și experimentul va fi să vedem dezvoltarea acestui roi în condiții nano plasmatice 100%. Poți să tai creanta aia de la piciorul tău complet. Adică îți păstrezi punctul de scrivă și restul, dacă reușești să o tai. Japoneză. Japoneză. E aici, că trebuie în spatele meu. Cătălin? Poftim?
Keď sa tuto potom aj predušky, sa podľa prima až do nohu. Yeah, I don't think there's a follow-up video, so <laughs> maybe he did get bit. <laughs> that wasn't the one I was thinking of, but it's a, a similar one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're definitely swarming on the outside of that hive. And if one of those releases a pheromone, I think they call it, the other ones, it's almost like be in distress, help. Oh, right, right. They all respond. So, yeah, it, it's not a bad idea to take some precaution. Here, here, here's the video of uh, Johnny taking precautions. <laughs> sort of. He's got a beekeeping outfit on. <laughs> but he doesn't have his hood up or he's not making use of it. So it's kind of redundant here. You can see a few bees flying around there. And I explained the mix to CO2 and zinc and plasma water. Right, that's what I thought I heard in the, in the, thank you. That's what I heard too. I think we're starting to learn uh, Spanish, Mark. I guess you already know some anyway. I think it's speaking Romanian, but I think uh, uh, when they explain the Romanian and Spanish is, is a very little, and I have, um, is near the, the language. And I understand mostly the time. And I, uh, one day he may explain, it's like a Spanish too. But now it's in Spanish. Now, okay. Now it says have a gas flow from CO2 and zinc. 70 to 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. I this is the, the explain the other day, you remember? Vamos a sacar de la mitad arriba. Okay. Okay, it's in a half in the, the top. Aqua que es, es de aquí es aqua de pozo. Voy a limpiar la mitad. Okay, it's water from the, from the, oh my God. From the earth. Siempre vamos a sacar de, de la mitad arriba. Y All with the time, uh, it's, uh, it's got it from the, uh, the center to up. Vamos a tener aqua plasma para mucho, mucho tiempo. Okay. And have uh, plasma water for a long time.
wow, it's many, many hydrated bees. Not that much. Okay, I'm just trying to see what else uh, Gianni has sent here. Don't see him showing up yet, so we might as well show a couple of others. Uh, yeah. Maybe like uh, the other day, no? But that's beautiful. I like picture from nature. <laughs> it's relaxing. Beautiful Romani. <laughs> Maybe clean first. Okay. Wow. I can I can hear the bees in my headphones and the right side and then the left side as they zip around. Wow, there's many, many. Incredible, isn't it? Wow. I mean, you have to wait like in line to, to get to the comb here, and the whole top was covered as well. Wow, yes. It's like a seeds. <laughs> many. Wow. You listen the grasshopper? Oh my god, it's beautiful. The crickets. Yes. Oh. oh my goodness. Wow, many. Yes, quite a um, communication network when you've got so many. Yeah. And they're not just all staying in one spot. There's a lot of them are moving around and and going from spot to spot. And, you know, it's like being on a super crowded beach. And uh, in order to get from one spot to the other, you have to avoid kicking sand in people's faces and kind of uh, interrupting their beach towels and whatnot. At the same time, you're trying to find enough space for yourself to set up and do your own thing on the beach and so on. And you see some pictures of beaches that look similar, similar to this, actually. Wow. I think it's a better project is, for example, take, um, I don't know, one state or one city, 
might be one state in different points uh, planting uh, for example planting uh, for the different system at the at the uh, at the body and and put here uh, the high beads and got it that honey for for a solution that the but it's temporary you know when it stands at the plasma technology and use it for different treatments <laughs> Would you stick your finger in there? <laughs> Who would like to volunteer to put their finger into the bee's nest? <laughs> but these are probably the bees that don't sting as well. Maybe only some of them have uh, the protector bees. Maybe they have stingers. But do you remember, do you spray it first and you use it all the time? A uh, plasma water is the bee is is not no violent and not attacking you. Mm hmm Do you see? I think regular kind of, beekeepers have a spray like yeah, that yeah. too. Eh? What yeah, what is yeah, it just it's, uh, it's, it's, steam, isn't it? Just steam? Steam water? Hot water? Smoke. I thought is they it have smoke? smoke. Oh yeah. It okay. Yes, you, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. This is smoke. Okay. Yeah, first. It, it sort of puts them into some sort of oozy or relaxed state. Yes, right. Yeah. I, I'm not a, I've never been a beekeeper, but uh, I had a question. Do bees have souls, too? Well, of course. And they yes, have all a, the time for this one first. They yeah. have, would have a soul of the... The uh, totality of the bees, in a way, too, of that whole nest. There'll be a, you know, you can almost feel the soul of that nest. It's more than just the sum of the bees. It's it's the uh, you feel the whole vibe of the 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 nest or the comb, whatever you call them. And they act as one entity, as one soul, when you disturb them. And when I got attacked, they were, you know, defending as one unit, basically. And they don't all sort of sit there and make an individual decision. As soon as that pheromone goes out, as you mentioned, Mark, they're in action and they act as... Uh, one unit to uh, with the central goal of deflecting whatever it is that's intruding into their nest. So this is another one with um, some GANS water is involved here, I believe. Actually, learning Romanian. <laughs> Do you know what they're saying about this water? Is this um, CH3 water, I wonder? I don't know. I think so. Part of it, anyway. So I think they do feed the bees uh, CH3 for energy. Oh, yes, possible. Ok, vă vom ține la curând de aici din stupina rămuzeilor unde este primul experiment cu un stup nano acoperit și plasmatizat complet. Mulțumim Cătălin, mulțumim albinuțelor. Absolut. Revenim.
Well, excellent uh, videos. Thank you, Gianni, for showing Thank us you, the, the bee stuff. Yeah, that really should get out to the beekeepers of America or any of these professional organizations that uh, they're always looking for innovative solutions. Yes, yeah, so we have a couple of other videos from Gianni. Let's see here. Those ones. I'm not and sure. You, even tell, you, you look at the nest and, or the box and you say it looks like uh, chaos. But they all seem to be know what they're doing. <laughs> and they're piled on top of one, one another and nobody's hitting the other one off. And they're just... It's just an amazing thing to look at. If people could mimic this a little bit more, I think we'd be farther down the road of peace. Imagine what we could get done without the uh, competitive, um, yeah. aggressive aspect that we have as humans and to op actually cooperate and, uh, you know, have have mass cooperation in projects and to help with doing things and so we have maybe too many people trying to help but at the same time it's redundant so that the job actually gets done at the at the bottom the bottom line is that the job gets done it might take multiple people some come and go and some need to leave to do other things and uh, others come to substitute and it's just it could look chaotic and like mayhem but if you have a, a central goal that helps a lot if everyone has the goal of, of uh, even if it's a sort of a, a higher ideal of just wanting to cooperate and wishing to have something accomplished in in uh, on the planet and getting together with other like-minded people. I mean, that's generally what we kind of do as humans. We act like bees a lot. But we do have that rather competitive, aggressive thing. If we were humans, we would be trying to um, uh, control all the other bees, even though we were a bee. And all the other bees would be trying to control it too because we all tend to be controlling as humans. And uh, it would be uh, bee mayhem. The, the probably no honey would get made and uh, the bees that remain would eat the remaining honey or something, you know, store it, stash it for themselves in a warehouse. And everybody would have their secret warehouse through the fields if they were human bees. But maybe we'll learn. Maybe we'll learn from nature. I mean, we do as humans. Maybe we'll actually uh, have a, 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 a break-even point where more humans will know about this sort of thing and how to cooperate than the ones that don't and uh, eventually have a bigger uh, influence that way. All right, here's another, uh, I don't think it's associated with bees. I haven't looked at this yet, but let's see what this is about. Oops. Obviously soaking in gas, gas water, plasma water. I think this is a drying procedure that they're going to use. I think we've seen this before. Like a natural dehydrator in so many ways. Yeah, you can buy these uh, dehydration kits like this. I think usually people cut up the vegetables 
smaller, I think, but uh, whatever works. Ok, deci ați văzut metodele moderne pentru oameni comozi care au la dispoziție uh, utilaje pentru spălat. Adică asta normal este o mașină pentru spălat autoturisme. Uh, aici este spălat prima, tradițional. Deci spală cu presiune. Dar pentru cine nu are posibilitatea aceasta și dacă mai rămâne ceva pe ea, există și perii or maybe this is just out of the ground and they're preparing them for by washing pressure washing in this case Okay. Și am turnat-o peste legumele noastre pe care le lăsăm minim 3 ore. Așa, rămâne bine. Și le lăsăm minim 3 ore. În cazul lămâilor și celorlalte care sunt pline de chimicale și asta, recomandat să stea cel puțin 24 de ore și se mai adaugă la cei 10 ml de CO2 ZNO să mai adaug 3 ml de oxid de cuplu. Ok, deci asta este faza spălării și punerii a legumelor în, în apă plasmatică. Deci, practic, în faza aceasta se eliberează partea de cea mai mare parte din ce a fost folosit pentru pesticide, fungicide, insecticide și alte chimicale, de se eliberează de chimie și redepin la un gust cât de cât mai plăcut. Deci asta o facem doar cu cele care nu le cultivăm noi. Dar cele care le cultivăm deja cu plasma, nu, nu este necesară această operațiune. Mulțumim! He may be using that as an inhibitor, Rick, in a way while, if he's going to use that drying station. Um, so they mm -hmm. don't rot as they go through the drying process. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it, that's right. It does. Yeah. Yeah, and say no use the chemicals and not um, uh, for eliminate the bacteria. A little worse on the side, very little. <laughs> Yeah, I can catch a few things. He <clears throat> plasmatic comes through pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I think it's CO2, but... Uh, Boy, that power sprayer works good, eh? So, like, yeah, it's about the water. Yeah.
I think it's for 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 uh, plasma basics. But uh, my friend talked uh, other day um, on the Spanish community. Uh, she put uh, uh, copper guns, but oxid oxid copper, but uh, at the lips is not better. Uh, but she put at the root and is more active. It's more better uh, in not at the lips, only at the root. So it seems, seems to be cherry trees and uh, seems to be grown with the GANS technology, I'm assuming. I heard the word plasma. He's definitely sh impressed quite a number of farmers, I think. Horse plasmatic. Semenat la 3 decembre. Acuma un speaker este data de 11 mai. Again, I heard the word plasmatic there. I didn't catch the rest, <clears throat> but you get the drift. And one last picture. I think we've seen this before last month, but uh, of a bunch of uh, happy people that have gathered for uh, some sort of uh, plasma gathering here i think they were constructing the uh one of the domes at that time probably this one in fact 
Beautiful dome. So thank you, Johnny, for uh, generating all the happy faces and happy bees, happy plants, and uh, uh, it seems like a, a correct way to go about uh, building the plasma environment. So he's Johnny's found an angle on many different aspects of the uh, plasma technology is able to help and instruct and uh, share and uh, does some some really good work out there as evidenced by some of the results And we've seen the, uh, where's that picture? Oh, yeah, there it is. A picture of and the happy chickens. Yeah, he's certainly developing quite a resume with the farmers, the veterinarians, and the rest, where, you know, they probably would talk to each other and uh, the different farmers and the one who's never tried it before. And, uh, they'll express their success and satisfaction with what Gianni's doing. I mean, the results are really showing. And I thought of that video a couple weeks ago in the Knowledge Seekers Workshop where Mr. Kesh said about changing the soul underneath that salty soil. And he said the ones involved in agriculture really should look at that little bit of teaching. I don't know if you recall that. But I thought of Gianni putting, pouring that CO2 and zinc down into the fountain, what he calls a, a fountain, I call it a well, or a water uh, hole. And uh, he's changing the soul underneath in so many ways, it seems. Yeah, I've got that video here. It'd be good to show that as well. Okay, suntem la fântână. Câte, ce adâncime zici? Care furajul? 30 de metri. 30 de metri, ok, agito. Turnăm și facem prima golire și prima udare cu apa așa cum este. Pop, da? Da. Efectul pe care îl are acum de ce turnăm este că imediat o să înceapă depunerile alea și sunt scoase așa de frumos de pompă ca să rămână fântâna limpede. Și să vedem peste câteva zile, eu zic 3, între 3 și o săptămână avem apă restructurată curată. Mulțumim! It's one of several uh, wells that we've seen Johnny uh, doing similar treatment to. Well, I think I'm at the end of the new videos from Gianni. What else do we have to share today? Do you have some more, uh, Mark, that you wanted to? I think that's, there's one other image you had. I'm not sure. Maybe you could explain. Oh, that was the magrav I had hooked up to the plug near the refrigerator, but I took off the capacitor and the rest of it and decided to just put it on top of another box. There's actually two magravs there, one underneath the other. And this is what I use at the computer. I keep this under the chair. Mm, I see. And uh, that's basically all it is. It's not plugged in. And uh, I keep thinking of what Mr. Kesh said in Sanya about that Magrav wasn't really to uh, generate fields. It was to reduce fields. Now, maybe, again, when he says that, is he talking about the physical Magrav or is he talking about your own Magrav within your own structure of reducing fields and then 
allowing the transmutation to happen. So well, this just, is a, a common theme with Mr. Kesh, and this, it's, um, I think it's important because normally, especially in the Western world, I think, we, we, we conceive of improving oneself by adding something or by um, when you're going to make something, you, you create something, you're always adding something. If you're creating a recipe, for example, you add this, you add that. It's always adding things. But to access the, the uh, world within ourselves, our inner soul, it's a reduction process, not an additive process. We have to um, strip off the clothes of our emotion and physicality and uh, essentially go naked with our soul. And it's not adding more clothes on to, to the soul to make it more heavy. You want to lighten up. Enlightenment is lightening up. If you're in a <clears throat> hot air balloon and you want to go up, you don't add ballast and add more stuff and let's put some more equipment in and let's add some heavy coats and boots and some lead weights just in case. Because you'll go down, not up. And to go up in a hot air balloon, you you dump ballast. You get rid of the sandbags and ballast and uh, you'll go higher and uh, that's I think the way it works with the plasma technology and Mr. Kesh says we have to go to the smaller rather than the bigger and uh, lesser energies not greater energies and he's emphasized that right back to the times in the early uh, plasma reactor group where we were making you know vacuum chambers and reactors and so on and if you think about it the whole idea of a vacuum chamber is you only add very small amounts of very specific things but you prepare the chamber by getting rid of everything in the chamber first. And that could take hours or even days with a high, high suction vacuum pump pumping away to get all the particles out of the chamber that would interfere with the process of introducing just the particles you wish to or the fields you wish to into the chamber. And then you get to work with them Otherwise, they get uh, dominated or destroyed by the stuff that's already in the chamber, unless you vacuum it all out completely. And that can take very expensive, uh, high-tech pumps in order to do that. And you have to make sure you don't even leave a fingerprint inside that vacuum chamber, because it could take hours longer just to vacuum out those oils from your fingerprint and that will contaminate the chamber while it's in that process. So Mr. Kesh was talking about how they use gloves, you know, disposable gloves when you handle the chamber and so on and so forth. And, and so, so it goes with the work with our soul as well, that it's a subtractive process to get there. And we can learn to let go of our uh, attachments that we have in order to uh, detach and elevate in my humble opinion yeah we all think about powering up but as the Keshe has indicated you know we like to go for the bigger and the stronger he goes for the smaller and the weaker it's about powering down in so many ways getting to these subtle weaker fields to start the process of creation. I know he's talked about that, creating that fundamental plasma.
So that's the idea of this, is just to see if we can reduce fields rather than generate fields. The same way you do when you go to sleep, where the blood flow diminishes and the cage opens. Yeah, that's a great example of uh, how we have to make the physicality less active and well, passive actually that's what happens when we're sleeping physicality is passive and that allows our inner life the soul to be more active I mean that's one of the standard rules of uh, meditation I guess is you do usually don't run around becoming more active during that meditation you sit quietly or sometimes lie down or whatever to get the physicality to stop all its fidgeting and busyness and just uh, to be rather than to be doing something anyways um, what else do we have to offer here anything anyone has that uh, they can think of to, that you'd like to say or present Well, judging by the stunned silence, perhaps it's time to wrap up our uh, our testimonials gathering here. What do you think? I think yes. Thank you so much. Thanks to thank you. Maybe one one more reminder video from Gianni about the Ganses. It's kind of nice, I think. I think we've seen this one before, but I can't remember, so I'll play it. It's only a minute, and uh, it shows his work, basically. So. The farmer's probably saying, you see these cups over here? This is $40,000 worth of fertilizers. <laughs> uh, and that's only the first application sitting on my shelves right here. So just for a few dollars, if that. And as uh, Gianni said, we're reducing the inputs and increasing the output. So this is a beautiful process. And again, uh, much better for nature, pure fields. Sorry, I missed that. I had a, a call here and had to deal with it. Um, was there no, something? The farm yeah, no, I'm saying the farmer says, well, this may look a little odd to you, but this is $40,000 worth of fertilizer sitting on my shelves here. And that's only the first application for the growing season. So they're quite pleased, I think, with saving on the inputs and increasing the outputs. I think that's been a big factor in Gianni's work. Yeah, for sure. If the farmer can't see a, an economic benefit out of it, then uh, it's not so doable. 
especially if you're on a budget. But yeah, so this is, uh, you know, uh, plasma engineering at its finest, actually. <laughs> Well, many thanks to Johnny for supplying the videos and information for us here to be able to uh, uh, see in this workshop and be able to share. It's wonderful. Yes, he's inspired all of us over and over again with this work. Yes, indeed. Well, I think it's time to wrap things up on that note. Oops, I can't find my background window. Just a minute here while I repossess that. You only have 10 videos open in the 15 Yeah, I now. need to. Uh, <laughs> I th it's more than buried. It just accidentally disappeared even. Here we go. All right. Well, it's been another great testimonials meeting. Thank you, everybody, for attending and either bearing witness or bearing a story to tell. And, uh, of course, we'll have another testimonials meeting next month. Let me see what the date will be on that. It'll be in July, the second Monday, which is the 8th. Another early one. So we had an 8th in April as well, and in January, strangely enough. So um, yeah, we look forward to next uh, July 8th as the next uh, testimonials meeting, this 92nd one. And if you think about it in the meantime, you'll probably have something that will come up to uh, share and try to notate that or Preferably make a little video or picture and something we can share with others. Okay, and what's coming up next? We have the uh, um, One Planet, One Nation, One Race for Justice and World Peace. And I'm trying to think what number it is. Uh, do, 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 do. I think a minute, it's 330, I think. Must be 330th coming up of the One Planet, One Nation, One Race for Justice and World Peace. And that will be Tuesday, June 11th, and starts at the 4 p.m. Central European Summer Time, time slot. Uh, we have the Plasma Reactor Group will be following that, and that will be on Wednesday, June 12th, starting at 7 a.m. Central European Summer Time. What else, uh, Mark, to announce or say before we depart here? Thank you, Rick, from all of us. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Mark. And thank you, all of us. All right, let me find the usual out video of the Flight Enhancement Spaceship Unit music version. Uh, let's see here. And this has been the 91st public meeting for testimonials. Thank you, everybody, for attending. See you next time around. Bye for now.